Hi, I'm Kelly Dodson. I'm uh, one of the founding directors of Far Reaches Botanical Conservancy, and I am excited to announce this year's lineup for the sort of a rare plant rumble. Um, as you know, in the past few years, we've we've had uh, competing brackets of some of our favorite plants. This year is no exception, and we'll just talk very briefly on this uh, rather illustrious lineup. So. Um, one of our favorite plants, that is, gosh, listen to me, they're all our favorite plants. Um, one of our more favorite plants, that doesn't quite reduce it. One of our plants is uh, Hoya Laii. Uh, this is from our, our collection. This is a, a genus, a species. It's uh, southern China, uh, gets into Thailand, not Thailand, but uh, Laos. Uh, Vietnam, awesome little epiphyte, those beautiful clusters of waxy flowers, um, could be used as a house plant, so dual purpose, certainly not for anything frosty, you know, love it down in the Bay Area, we're not the Bay Area here, but uh, lucky people who live there uh, could grow that. Um, to the other extreme uh, for hardiness would be uh, Pentapanix henryi. This is rare in cultivation, it's a hardy Aureliaceae, after this winter I don't know what your Schefflerus or Heptapleurums look like. Ours don't look so good. <laughs> so this is going to look good. It's deciduous, tough as nails, same flower structure, same beautiful fruiting display, awesome fall color. Pentapanix henryi. Um, another cool deciduous plant, a woody plant, is uh, uh, Photinia bovardiana. Um, you know, is this was something that we we collected for a friend. It wasn't something that we particularly wanted. It wasn't on our target list, but there was beautiful fruit. So all I wanted was just to collect like one berry of this Photinia just to uh, be able to distribute it. And so had the berry high up in the air, very excited, gave a little spin. Of course, I'm standing on a wet, mossy, sloping rock. Whoosh, there goes the feet, holding the fruit up high, land on my ribs so I don't lose the the fruit, of course, you know, I gotta protect that, but I didn't, I should have protected my rib because that just gave. And so, like the next day, trying to hike the next mountain and subsequent mountains after that, not so fun with a, with a, with a cracked or fractured rib. So, um, you'll see what I think about the Photinia when you play the game. Um, and it seems like a shame to have Paris Polyphila Quantungensis in this because that's almost like, that's just not fair. That's like having, I don't know, uh, like if you're in women's basketball, South Carolina Gamecocks. I mean, you can pretty much count them in as a winner this year. They won last year. Paris is, that's cheating almost, because everybody loves Paris, a great, great trillium relative. Um, likewise, I'd put it in the same class as Dysosma or Podophyllum, depending on your preference for the nomenclature on the genus, but uh, we'll call it Podophyllum, Podophyllum deformi. Uh, any, any new Podophyllum is a cool thing. This is a new introduction of, in this species, so uh, from a new area, so very exciting bit of genetics there. So, um, oh, Agapetes, I haven't even looked at the list, I'm just a gog here. Agapetes smithiana. Uh, this is from seedlings, from wild collection, from our friend and great plant hunter, Steve Hoopman. Uh, Steve gifted us a little nod of seedlings a few years ago and said, grow these on and see what they do. Well, you'd think, I mean, Agapetes, that's a blueberry, epiphytic blueberry relative from Asia. Um, cool thing. It's got these beautiful yellow flowers on it. And, and it's rare that, you know, when you have a beautiful flower that the calyx, kind of holding that flower's base, is even mentioned. But, you know, this thing has grown, off, grown on us. So this one seedling, the flowers are at the upper limit of the, of the size. It's bigger than some of the other seedlings, for sure. But the calyx is huge on this. And it's, the calyx rim is outlined in this dark chocolate line. So it's a Piketty calyx form. Pretty cool. Um, and it's edible, but we can buy blueberries so you don't have to pick and eat your Agapetes fruit. Um, there's a maple that's a, a, from Asia, very cool, Acer stuculianum uh, subspecies franchettii. 
beautiful foliage, it's beautiful in all phases, and the fruit, the Samaras on this particular clone at least, um, are really, really distinctive, and I think a perfect, perfect thing for this particular uh, um, event, as you'll see when you uh, play the game. Uh, I think the final one, and you know, <laughs> who doesn't love a good Melastomacy? Really, I mean, they're awesome, the Melastomes. Oh! Granted, some are weeds, some are noxious weeds. Uh, this is not such a thing. This is the most fabulous ground cover I think we've ever seen. I mean, we've looked at it for years in Asia as we've been plant hunting, and especially in the sort of the warm, temperate, subtropical uh, areas. Amazing ground cover with these broad leaves, just flat to the ground, turn the leaves over, awesome color usually, sometimes they're just green, but texturally incredible, never seen it bloom, never was able to get it established, finally got two clones, two different clones going, and it bloomed, flowers are good, I mean really good, so, oh, that's awesome plant, so that's going to be a great plant again for a conservatory, or down in the Bay Area where it can grow along with the Hoya Laiai, so, uh, but really incredible thing. So uh, take a chance, play the bracket, it's going to be kind of a, a lightning round. We're just going to do a little three-day run on this and it should be a lot of fun and we'll see who wins. I know where, you know, I've already called my bookie, so I've got money on it, but I have no input on counting the votes, so it's going to be a legit win if I do. All right, thanks a lot.